that work come here, then it's very difficult for that kind of progression to happen and, and you know, the, these artists to really kind of go into these really different areas and, yeah. and to provoke that kind of audience space. But also to mm, the way that art in a public space gives permission for a different type of engagement. So like this thing of going to a gallery and, mm. and having to have the art mind and really understand yeah. what's yeah. happening. And actually there's something for me in, in, in my work that's about giving a permission to engage with it in whichever way makes sense and mm. actually to start to engage with the work in the way that we would have done when we were children, right. which is very freely yeah. and kind of really responding to what we see rather than trying to understand the intellect of it. Right. And there's something about finding that playful engagement for both the local artists and their development, mm. like investing in time to experiment and get it wrong, it's really important. Like that opportunity yeah. to fail is an important part of everyone's development. Okay. So there's something about making sure that there is that kind of investment in in that and the investment in the possibility of stuff. So, you know, things about not having the paper, the mm. right papers to dance in the street. <laughs> well, then that that has to that's the kind of thing that has to change. I think that because if there are those layers of bureaucracy in front of it, yeah. then artists will never have that freedom to kind of go and do these things. Yes. And there's physical forms like parkour that, like, they go and they reclaim an urban space, mm -hmm. and they make it playful, and they make wow. it something else. And a wall no longer becomes a, a border; it becomes something to to climb. It becomes something to work with. And that's for me. That's what art in public spaces does. Of course. Like my three performances have all been in a gallery. Okay. So they've been in this kind of public space, but actually it's in a very it's Close one that's family. probably accessible yeah. in a in a cultural sense to a very small amount of people. Because we have this kind of yeah, this art thing of yeah. going like I can't I'm not allowed to access that, I don't have permission to access that. Mm -hmm. And so the for me the provocation was about how we view that artwork when we're in an art space. Um, how we have a response that's not yes. just intellectual to it. Play, the, the word you said there, playfulness, <coughs> is a really big one. Yeah, it's pretty you know, important. Because uh, playfulness uh, allows you to deal with stuff that's mi maybe more difficult. Like mm -hmm. you were saying, some of your past is very difficult. Yes. But playfulness in there, uh, that changes everything. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. 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 Change the everyday life of mm -hmm. the people for a little moment. Mm -hmm. You are going to work, crossing the street, and then you see these eight actors doing just crossing in another way, yes. in another rhythm. Yes. You stay, yeah, wh what's going on? <laughs> Why? Ha ha ha, hoo hoo hoo, and it's, <laughs> this is already something yeah. mm -hmm. that is huge mm -hmm. when you transform in a performance, in a meaning, etc. etc. I, I was thinking uh, there is so many things here. Um, mm. I was talking with the uh, uh, local uh, artists and I say, why not to take four tuk-tuks, do a performance yeah. for two people in the tuk-tuk so and going around two spaces that they never will go and in these spaces there is a story yeah. that belong to the space, to the market, etc, etc. Yeah. And they were, oh yes, yes, yes. Now <laughs> I say, okay, let's write a show, let's produce the show and we'll be a Sri Lankan show, That's but not not only for Sri Lanka. Yeah, you can export. Of course, better than tea and all what you have. <laughs> you export <laughs> culture. Yeah, and then you go to festival in France, in Italy. Yeah, yeah. and you see a, a Sri Lankan show that is universal stories. That is so true. This will be great, and mm. this is a very good uh, passport, diplomatic passport mm. to your country mm. for all the world. Indeed, in a, in a not only Colombo Biennale, but there is many Biennale, Venezia Biennale, and there is a Sri Lankan show. Wow, this will be great. And for sure, the door will e open because I think that Europe and the Western countries need mm. new uh, mm -hmm. confrontation, ideas, new yeah. ideas, mm -hmm. etc. Yeah. So why not? It's not so difficult. It's just yes, exactly. ah, do it. It's just, Throw it. It's just that there has to be a push from yes. somewhere for, the, for the artist in Kala. <laughs> You in the in at home, <laughs> push, yeah. push, push, <laughs> just keep pushing. Push. Yes, indeed. There has to be some sort of encouragement. Wake up! <laughs> I know. <Yeah. laughs> People in Colombo, wake up. Get into arts immediately. Mm -hmm. All right. So now, <laughs> so now, um, it's it's quite interesting that you said um, uh, uh, um, everything that you actually stated right now uh, made me think that Sri Lanka actually has the potential 
to um, do uh, contribute to arts in Colombo in small ways like that mm -hmm. and actually represent Sri Lanka in that small way, small way but make it really big out there. Mm -hmm. So um, it's quite interesting to um, speak about Sri Lanka in that manner, in such a positive manner, especially after Independence Day. So on that note, we have to go for a very short commercial break, but we'll be right back with these three wonderful artists. You can call me. <laughs> <laughs> we are having so much fun in the studio right now. Welcome back to Good Morning Sri Lanka. Um, Tom and Thor and Adrian are here to represent the Colombo Arts Biennale. And we were discussing how um, arts in Colombo can be developed, improved, and how we can make a big name out there for Sri Lanka if we actually invest in our local art and our local artists. So now moving on from there, I would like to ask you three about your individual um, artist art history <laughs> and how you contribute to um, the world arts because I'm sure that the audience and the viewers out there would really love to know more about you so why don't we start with Thor, Thor. <laughs> <laughs> our friend Thor <laughs> let's start with Thor <laughs> okay so what's the question that about where, 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 it's, where it started about where yourself about yourself mm -hmm. yes. what uh, do you like to eat and <laughs> <laughs> yes like you can uh, say that also <laughs> yeah, I do like to eat do you yeah. like Sri Lankan food by the way <laughs> Look, I, like I learned yesterday Lankan. I learned yesterday okay <laughs> what's that <laughs> what, 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 what are you doing again the rice ah right the curry <laughs> and right <laughs> so do you actually enjoy Sri Lankan food because I know that for yeah. people wonderful outside, it must it's be wonderful. a little bit spicy no, no. five days to take this it's not spicy at all no it's okay yeah. Yeah. alright yeah. that, that's no, very I interesting do. To be honest, right. what seems to happen is things get underspiced because they, they, you know, they think that you can't. <laughs> All right, so let's anyway, where were we? Uh, okay, I um, fine arts my background, uh, but uh, the the kind of my work all probably stemmed out of the fact of working with. Uh, I was pulling apart old TVs and looking at them as sculptural things and uh, and and kind of investigating them, giving myself mm. shocks, that right. kind of thing. <laughs> And uh, uh, and then I was looking at it also as a whole kind of mass medium and how does it work? Mm. And uh, and then I kind of discovered that if you pulled the TV screen away from the, if you separated those two things, the TV and the sound, the visual and the sound, uh, and you and you got rid of the the screen bit and you just had the sound still, then you start having a, a something that that it wants to latch on to something else because it's lost its visual part. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then it ends up being so. Th since then, I've been working with sound and objects and sound and spaces. Yeah. Uh, and uh, uh, so I really like the way sound is always some element in my work, but it's always uh, kind of physical, sculptural, and spatial. Mm. But you know, you can start creating a soundtrack for a space. And, and one of the reasons why I like working in public spaces, as I said before, is about how you interact with an audience, but also uh, you can find a space and you can just subtly tweak it sometimes by just adding a kind of sound element within it yeah uh, or you can reawaken spaces so sometimes finding like a uh, an old bandstand that been closed for 30 years and reawakened it for a month with a, uh, a surround sound a piece that was in the bandstand wow. and, and commissioned artists from uh, all different backgrounds to create work for it okay um, that's that kind of thing sometimes um, Working with, uh, I was talking earlier with starling birds and the murmuration of starlings. Um, uh, I'm, I'm now going blank about what else <laughs> I do. <laughs> right, so I, I'm really quite something interesting yeah. in my rundown. It says that you are the creative director of two arts organizations. Yeah. Uh, um, let's yeah. talk about that. Uh, one of them I'm unfortunately responsible for. The <laughs> other one I unfortunately joined. Um, why, no. why do you say it's <laughs> no, unfortunate? Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, uh, a swarm is is, uh, is a uh, kind of arts org that, that pulls on a kind of network of people that for, for that when we require bigger events that or require more people. All right. Um, but the idea is it's a kind of fluxus fluxus kind of group. Um, and sometimes that's just one person, it's me, and sometimes it's, it's a whole group of us. Okay. Um, and then Stream Arts is a, a public arts organization in London. Uh, they do a lot of um, projects, again, in public space. Right. So uh, Aswam and Stream Arts? Um, different things. Okay. Yeah. They're both located? Uh, both in London. All right. And, and Stream Arts is, a, is an arts charity. Okay. Uh, of which I'm a director on the board of. All right. Um, uh, but, yeah, what... 
One of the things that interests me a lot about work now, the, the project that I'm doing now, most of the time I'm doing one-off projects that are always just dealing with one creation of a place and uh, one, s one space, one scenario. And you always find you're kind of reinventing the wheel. Yes. Uh, and with this project, uh, I, I kind of wanted to build something that could keep evolving and changing a bit. So it would keep me interested, um, but it, I would have some kind of basis. So mm. this project, The Speakers, that's at Goethe Institute, um, has been going for about two years and it started when I was uh, I was watching the revolution in Tahrir Square in Egypt and all the tweets that people were sending out from the square mm -hmm. on their phones and and reading those I was like th this is almost like script um, and that all these people are describing their very extreme experiences but putting it like I said earlier onto this kind of weird plastic land of Justin Bieber late and Lady Gaga uh, <laughs> and uh, and I wanted to take it out of that and put it back into a real space yeah and so that's then become a kind of evolving thing. So now each time I do the project in a different location, I'm drawing on this kind of past uh, uh, gathering of stuff, of recordings and of voices from, from different people uh, in their kind of defending their public spaces. Mm -hmm. And so when I come to Sri Lanka, it was, okay, wh what, um, what would be an interesting event to try and cover in Sri Lanka that would have some relation to these other things like the Revolution Terrier Square or Gezi Park in Turkey, yeah. where, where basically Gezi Park's an interesting one because it's a public park that was uh, they wanted to turn into a shopping mall. Yes. Um, and this privatization of public space is yeah. something that's really difficult. And I think that's something that's a little bit tricky in Sri Lanka mm -hmm. at the moment, where because there's this development boom going on, you've also got this 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 um, uh, dichotomy, this problem of 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 public. When a public space becomes developed, it becomes privatized. Of and then we suddenly lose all our rights over it. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and one thing that we, th this piece is about is, is, is trying to remind people of, of uh, that public space is something that's for us, and we own it. The state doesn't own it. The, the, the company shouldn't own it. It's ours. Uh, and that's a fundamental kind of right to have public space. Yeah. And that's why um, Vela Varia was interesting because it was about water and that's a public space and a public right. right. Um, I think uh, there should be awareness so created in Colombo more about what she said right now. Yeah. Because um, it, when it comes to permissiveness and mm. uh, legal, legal authorities, it, there's a huge uh, problem of who really owns public space in Colombo. Mm. So I think coming out of um, <coughs> a very uh, tarnished era of, of a conflict, I think people have lost their awareness about where they belong and what actually belongs to them. So that mm. was quite interesting what you said. So um, if you move on to Tom maybe, yeah. um, what have you been doing this year since January um, and anything that you have, uh, any uh, touch points that you would like to touch about your career? Yeah, um, so I originally trained in dance and dance right. theatre. Um, and have worked for a number of companies in the UK and Europe and and now perform a lot of uh, theatre work as well, right. and 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 uh, I'm actually in Sri Lanka on the same residency as Thor, um, though I've just started mine, um, kind of two weeks ago, okay. and I'm here to work in writing, um, so I'm writing new work and collating kind of Sri Lankan poets and trying to see what the response might be there. Interesting. So yeah, since since being here, that's kind of been my focus. All right, so um, you're talking about Sri Lankan poets. Mm -hmm. um, any any particular poetry? Um, that yeah, you I, in really fact, like I I uh, I met a poet on Monday. Really, I was very <laughs> privileged to meet a poet, um, okay. Vivi Marie van der Poorten. Yes, yes. Um, okay. I couldn't find her, her first collection right. anywhere, and uh, she was kind enough to hmm. track some down for me. So. Um, yeah, so uh, certainly her, and then she's given me kind of a list of other folk, and I've been into various bookstores in Gaul <laughs> and Colombo and Hikadur yeah. and kind of have now a stack of, of poetry. That's amazing. Yeah, That's amazing. and I'm slowly kind of working through it to find <laughs> out. So, um, right. yeah, there's no other names that kind of jump up, but Vivian mm. Marie's it's beautiful well, poetry. It's beautiful. I know, yeah, she's I know. It's I very she's one of my personal favorites as well. Mm. And, and very kind of contemporary to the yes. work that comes out of the US and Europe. And That's amazing. Like, there's a really beautiful kind of uh, communication through the poetry yeah. of this idea of the um, the local specifics, but also the universality. Like when, when a poet really 
makes sense of it, it makes sense to whatever culture you're from. Of course. Of course. Even with the specifics of the yes. thing, there's you, you make these comparisons very easily. Exactly. Mm. So, yeah, it was a real privilege to meet her earlier. So. That's amazing. Yeah. All right, so you were speaking of dance theatre. Um, mm. Theatre is not new to Colombo, um, but dance theatre is kind of um, a new aspect of it. Mm -hmm. Maybe um, the viewers might not know what it really is. Can you um, tell so the viewers what exactly dance theatre <coughs> is and how we can contribute to theatre as a 